I got him. Oh no! No! No, my fish. I'm going barehanded. I got him. He's so squirmy. I'm here at the creek and today I'm going to be doing a trout catch and cook. I'm going to start fishing right in there and I'm just going to work my way down the creek and hike on down there and then hopefully if I can get some nice sized trout we'll head home and cook these trout up. This is turning or this is becoming a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Every time in the past that I fished here, it's like you take like three casts and you already have a fish. But I'm just going to keep working my way down this creek. There's a big waterfall farther down here that usually holds some fish, so I can get back to fishing. There's a fish. Yeah. Started drifting it down through the tail out and he whacked it. He swallowed that worm down pretty good, but he'll hold still for a second. It's a pretty nice sized fish for down here. The fish down here don't get very big. He's probably about 10 or 12 inches. Oh, oh. <laughs> go. There's the first trout. I'm going to keep this one for the catch and cook. He's a pretty good sized one for down here. So I'll bleed him out and then we'll get back to fishing. Fishing for these trout is really simple. It's, it's just like a general, this works literally anywhere in the world. You just have your little split shot and then just a small little hook and you'll cast out there and just let the current drift your split shot. You want a small enough split shot that it doesn't stay on the bottom. You want it to drift with the current. And then just take a little worm and thread it on your hook. Yeah, you're just going to want to thread that worm on there just like that. You don't want to you don't want to just loop your hook or loop the worm on your hook. It doesn't work as well. You want it to be strung out kind of like that. And typically you want to cut this worm in half, but I'm going to leave it whole just for, just to see if I can get a bigger trout or something out. Let's see if we can get another one. Yeah, that was a pretty dang good sized trout for this creek. Normally, the trout you get in this creek are like a max of 8 inches and that one was about 10, so... That's a pretty good trout. I'm gonna fish this little drift. I normally get quite a few fish right here, so let's see if I can get one. Here we go, we got two trout on a stringer on a stick, but they're about the same size. Looks like one's just a little bit bigger than the other, but pretty good sized trout. Just looked at the camera after catching that fish and talking to the camera for like five minutes. Camera wasn't on, so I don't know if I don't know if you guys just saw me holding up the fish on the big camera, talking about the fish or whatever, but if you guys didn't, you guys got some nice GoPro footage, I guess. Get back to fishing. 
guarantee five dollars just fish right here. Oh no! Are you kidding me? I just lost the fish. What the heck is going on here? It's all wrapped around my microphone. Hmm, I lost the fishy. You stole almost all of my worm. All right, I'm gonna throw this piece of worm in the river. It's a freebie for one of the fish, I guess. I'm gonna get my new piece of worm. I'm gonna cut it in half. This, that's why you use half a worm and use a smaller piece of worm because a lot of times they'll bite the tail end of it and they won't actually get your hook and then you don't get the fish, like what just happened, exactly what just happened. No. Oh my gosh. I just missed him again. How did that happen? There might be multiple down there. I'm gonna use a way smaller piece of worm now. He should definitely get hooked now. Got him. I got him. Got him. I got him. Oh no. No. No, my fish. Oh. We're going barehanded. Where'd he go? Oh no. Oh, there he is. No. Save me. Gosh, they went there, baby. Oh no, he's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's in this pocket of water. Okay, he's in this pocket of water somewhere. I don't know where. I can't see him. Is that him? No. Where is he? Oh my gosh. No! Oh my gosh. That, that was, oh, that was insane. He's so squirmy. All right. Oh my gosh. This fish is too small. I'm going to let him go. He deserves to survive, so. I'll get a nice get a nice release on him. Oh, he's coming back up. There he goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, that's one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me while trout fishing. Squirmy! I didn't even keep that trout. I think the trout won on that one. I think my little extravaganza of trying to catch that fish, I think it spooked the rest of the fish, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, I fell, I fell in the water basically backwards and I was kind of hooting and hollering. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go with the little Panther Martin on this one. There's one. Oh, I got one. First cast. Panther Martin, baby. Let's go. Oh, don't come off now. No! I lost him. There's one. Oh, I got one. First cast. Panther Martin, baby. Let's go. Oh, don't come off now. No! I lost him. How? Alright, so 
My other camera just died. I didn't bring a charger for some reason, so I'm just gonna have to film with this GoPro as a main camera. I'm just gonna be fishing till down there, and then I'm gonna be, I'll be done fishing for this afternoon. I've already got, I've already landed three fish, and then I lost that one just a minute ago on that spinner that you guys saw. But, and then I'll head home and I'll cook these fish up and that's about it. All right, here I am at the, this is the very last spot you can really fish unless you wanna jump off the waterfall and try and fish below it. But I'm gonna start off with the spinner and we'll see if I can get a couple fish on the spinner. I just missed the fish. You know what that means. I'm about to catch one and fall backwards into the water. Then I'm gonna go bear grill style and catch him with my hands. That's what happened last time, so that should happen this time. lot bigger than you normally want but we're sending it there's a fish I lost him. There's a fish. Oh yeah. No. I lost him. I freaking lost him again. He was giant. Oh my gosh. That would have by far been the biggest trout I would have ever caught down here. That trout was like had to have been 15 inches or 16 inches. That was a big trout. Ooh. Gosh. And I stuck him pretty good, so he's not going to bite again. Got one. Oh, it's a giant one. Oh, he's taking me for the spin. Get up here. Holy smoke. This thing. That is by far the biggest trout I've ever got down here. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I'm not joking. I felt him like bite it like a few times. So I was like, and I lifted up and then it's gone. And I was like, what the heck? And I was like, I'm just gonna leave it a little bit. And I left it and I felt him. I felt him bite a couple more times and I was like. I'm just gonna let him like completely swallow it and get it in there. And then I finally lifted it up and I was like, 
I the whole the hook that I swapped that's who's dull. I have one more hook and I have tied on. Look at that thing. That's a nice size trout. I just set the hook basically as hard as I could with this ultralight. I have no other hooks besides this one, so... That is by far my personal best down here. Got my hook back. Look at that trout. That's like a 15, 16 inch trout right there. This isn't the one I had before, because the one I had before was like that much wider. It was short and fat. I'm gonna try and catch one more fish and then I gotta head home. That fish started to, I literally, he kept just flopping around so I dropped him a couple times. I think he should be able to still survive, but even if he can't, I don't wanna catch too many more fish and then have them not survive. So I'm gonna head home here in a bit. This is the most fish I've, well, not the, this isn't the most fish I've caught down here, but this is like the biggest with the most consistent quality of fish. This is crazy. Well, I just finished up fishing. I'm gonna pack up my gear. We've got that, I've got that stupid bird sitting in the tree. The bird's sitting in the tree waiting for me to throw another fish in so we can catch it. It's insane. I almost thought he was gonna grab my fish that was over there. But I'm gonna leave. Hopefully he doesn't take too many of the trout out of here. And I'll see you guys back at home and I'll cook these fish up. All right. The other trout are luckily still here. And grab both of these. Got a total of three trout. 
and I'll head on home. Alright, so I just got home. I'm going to fillet this trout out and we're going to cook it up. I'm going to start by pulling all the guts out. Pooping everywhere. Let's see what it's been eating. Freaking poop all over me. All it had in its stomach is just some bunch of grass and stuff. Get the poop. Alright, now that I got the guts out, I'm gonna fillet it out. Leaving the skin on, there's one nice fillet. There you go, you got hardly any meat spoilage, you just got the head of the fish and then some bones and the kidney and that's about it. And then you got two nice trout fillets. Gonna clean these up a little bit. Alright, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna take some garlic salt and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on there. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take some butter. And get it on there. Now I'm gonna slap them on. Already cooking pretty quick. You can see the you can see the meat is kind of pinkish, and you can see that white line right there. That's when the fillet is completely white. That'll that means it's cooked all the way through. Perfect. And just like that, you got two perfectly cooked trout fillets. Nice and flaky. with the skin. I think trout are probably some of my favorite fish to eat. Well, I'm gonna finish eating these trout up. Um, Instagram's right here. You guys can go follow me, DM me, you have a conversation or something. Um, feel free to comment and ask me any questions about the gear I was using and stuff like that. 
If you guys have any video ideas you guys would like to see, comment and let me know what they are. This fall I'll be doing elk, deer, and antelope hunt videos. Um, so stay tuned for that. Before then I'll probably have a lot of fishing videos come out in the next couple months. So see you on the next video.